Alrighty, welcome back Calculorians. Looks like our thing is a little crooked. Let's turn that out. Today's episode, we are going to do some hardcore algebra to determine when a function is increasing or decreasing, when is it concave up, when is it concave down, where are the extrema. And I'm going to do all of this without graphing. So you can see I am on a sheet of paper, I am off of the Desmos, but I'm going to figure out everything about f of x just using calculus. So I'm going to start with the increasing and decreasing. So I know f of x increases, f prime of x is positive. And then f of x is decreasing, f prime of x is negative. So if I can figure out f prime of x, which I know I can do quickly here, bring down the 3, 12x squared, minus 18x, the 5, vooch. I can now figure out increasing and decreasing intervals by finding when is f prime of x positive, when is f prime of x negative. And I can do this because I know I'm dealing with a quadratic. And I know I can figure out where is this quadratic positive, where is it negative, and then I can figure out where is it increasing and decreasing. Since I have a quadratic, the best way to deal with this is to figure out first where is it neither increasing or decreasing? And I'm going to work from there, and I'm going to answer that question using my calculator. So let's see here. I've got my where? How do I figure out where does a quadratic equal zero using my calculator? I'm going to go to my quad program. And I like the good old quad. Oh, it's not working. Here we go. Sorry for the glitch. All right, so looks like A is a 12, B is a negative 18, and C is a zero. Boom. I have zeros, and I hope you can see that kind of, sort of, maybe. Here, I did all that. Does that show up a little bit? Yeah, great. Quadratic formula. 1.5 and 0 are my zeros. So F prime of X, 1.5 and 0, are my zeros. I know this quadratic opens up because I've got a 12, a positive 12, so I'm just going to make a sketch of f prime of x as something like this. So where is f of x increasing? Well, wherever f prime is positive, so that's all this stuff here. Positive, positive. So those squigglies, I'm going to move this calculator out of the way, those squigglies happen, so f prime of x is greater than 0, when x is less than 0, x is greater than 1.5. f of x is increasing. Boom. Now I'm going to grab my black pen. <laughs> Pretty excited about that uh, first derivative and finding when it increases. Grabbing my black pen. Squiggle in here. Hopefully you can see kind of the difference there. Maybe that blue and black isn't the best idea But let's work with it down here f double prime of x is less than 0 And that's when 0 is less than x is less than 1.5 right because everybody with me the calculator told me my zeros were at 0 and 1.5 So that is where f of x is decreasing So, got a good handle on things right now. Um, I've got my increasing and decreasing intervals. So I'm kind of picturing f of x, you know, if, if I know now it's increasing when it's less than zero, so I'm kind of increasing, 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 decreasing, 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 and then I'm increasing again. There's that cubic function of f of x. Increasing, 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 decreasing, 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 increasing, increasing, decreasing. Ah, so it's almost like I have a relative max, relative min, boom. All right, let's keep playing with that. The question comes up about concavity. Now, to answer anything about concavity, I'm going to take, I'm going to find the second derivative. Given the first derivative, I can find the second derivative by taking the derivative of the derivative. So down here, f double prime of x is going to be, the 2 is going to come down, 24x minus 18. So my function is going to be concave down if the second derivative is negative, concave up if the second derivative is positive. So let's find out where is it 
just zero. Well, 24x equals 18, x equals 18 over 24, which that is la, 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 3 fourths, 0.75. So right here. Sweet. So I'm going to be concave down. Wait, let's see here. This is my second derivative. I'm going to do it in a dotted line. So the second derivative is concave down when x is less than 0.75, concave up when x is greater than 0.75. So f double prime of x, oops, I'm sorry, now I'm realizing that should just be a, f double prime is less than zero when x is less than 0.75. So therefore f of x is concave down f double prime of x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 0.75. So f of x is concave up. Which I was kind of getting alluding to this. When you sketch your graph, now I picked my red pen to graph f of x. So f of x increasing, hit a 0, start decreasing, hit another zero, increasing. And look at here, right at this 0.75, I go from concave down to concave up. Concave down, hitting a relative max, right? You can kind of picture that concave down, that's gonna give you a max versus concave up, a relative min. Whoa, lots happened here, the calculus behind the algebra, how we can find all these things. Our extrema kind of came out of our concavity and whether we were increasing or decreasing. So that idea of changing from increasing to decreasing, this part of the graph, which we kind of talked about this on a previous episode, decreasing to increasing, I'm sorry, 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 increasing to decreasing, increasing to decreasing, that creates that relative maximum value. Increasing to decreasing, ch -ch -ch -ch. relative max. Versus here, I think the sunflower problem, or on the sunflower sheet when we were talking about the Sarah Fisher Fund, this look here, when I go from negative to positive, I go from decreasing to increasing, that creates that relative min. So all this information here, relative, let's say we've got our concavity, increasing and decreasing intervals. I'm gonna come over here relative max at x equals zero, relative min at x equals 1.5. Super awesome. That's a lot there, eh? Yeah! But so enthusiastic. I love it. Hope you're having a great day. Take care of yourself. See you later.